of the authority and today I am going to do my shop my stash. So I'll go over the stuff I picked for November and then I'll pick stuff for December. So what do I want to look at first? I've got a big pile of stuff in front of me. So um, <laughs> I don't know where to start. Okay, I'm going to start with bronzer just because I'm totally random. <laughs> so I picked my... Betty Lou Manizer bronzer from the balm and it's spring here so when I started using this um, it hadn't been that warm and I didn't have a lot of colour on my face and I found it was just a bit too um, dark so I think this would be a good one for summer and not so great when I'm pale I don't think it would suit me in the winter so what I was doing is I was just putting this one on like here then a little bit around here and then I'd go into my wet and wild one and get rid to Brazil and buff it out for the rest of my face and that combination worked really well so I can use this one in spring and in autumn but not on its own <laughs> so that was a, that was an interesting experiment because I think I brought this one in the summer and I thought it suited me really well but, and I was more tanned then <laughs> So that was interesting. Um, highlighters. I put in my Eye Heart Revolution Pineapple Highlighter and I put in my King Trotton Classy Cosmetics Highlighter. This one, this green one I have used before and it was good for certain looks that I wanted to do when I wanted that green kind of look. Hopefully you can see the green shift in it. And the pineapple one was new to me, so that's what it looked like. I used it quite a bit, and I really enjoyed it. And I enjoyed the fact that I could go really light in the middle, or I could go a bit darker, or I could go really dark, or I could just mix them all together. So it's like having four highlighters in one, all in gold shade. So they do... Oh, look, at, I'll just put a little bit more on this one because it's hard to see. Yeah, so they all do look a little bit different. So I, I really enjoyed using that. And palettes. Yeah. Oops, I just dropped that on the floor. <laughs> No casualties, that's good. Um, I chose, instead of singles, I chose palettes for my blush and another highlighter. So the other highlighter I chose was the Chi Chi Wall of Shimmer. And I used this a few times and enjoyed it. This was a free product that I got, um, free gift with purchase. And um, I actually quite enjoyed it and I quite liked being able to mix the colours. Same with the pineapple one, so I could go lighter or I could go a bit darker. And I thought that was quite, quite handy. But um, some of the, the way the shimmer goes can be a bit confusing because like this one here, it's got a lighter one down the bottom and up the top and then it's got a dark one underneath. So unless you've got a really skinny brush, you're using them all together. <laughs> It's just, I would have rather they graduated down from light to dark because it would have been easier to pick where I wanted to put my brush. But anyway, that was just my opinion. And for blush, I used my LA Colors Blush Color and Contour palette. And I used a lot of these. Colors. Um, I got it for the pinky colors for when I was doing certain looks that I wanted to do but um, I ended up using this one quite a lot as well and I used this one quite a lot and um, I used this one a few times too and I used this one quite a lot so I I think I I'm not sure if I use this one I'm not sure if I've ever used this one it looks nice though it looks like a nice color but I don't think I used that one but I should <laughs> But I used all the other colours and I actually really enjoyed it. Um, 
it's not the best quality blush in the world, but it seems to last all right. It lasts all day, and it's quite pigmented. But um, you can see, if you look in the pan, I wonder if it'll show up on camera. How it's getting a little kind of weird. You might be able to see it in that colour or that colour. It kind of gets those weird hard dots in it as you wear down the product. Like this one's got... This one feels really dry. And it's really powdery. And it's got kind of weird dots in it. But it's not... It's not mouldy or anything. It's just the product in the um, pan. It's just the way it's pressed in the pan. So um, I'm really enjoying this palette for a really cheap palette. I think it's actually really good value for money. And along with that, I've been using my Revolution Blush Palette in Blush Queen. So I've been using all these. Some of them I've been using for highlighters, like, like these ones. I've obviously been more highlighters than blush toppers. But I have been using some of them as blush toppers to go with this one, which is all matte. And I've quite been enjoying layering and seeing what I can come up with. So I think it was a successful choice. Now, now we'll get on with palettes. So, some of these, I've made videos on all the palettes that I've played with. And um, some of them will be out and some of them won't. Because usually the Shop My Stash stuff that I chose for October, all those videos are sort of coming out now. <laughs> So the, the videos that I did with all these November products will probably come out more in December. <laughs> but um, the Essence one. Now, I did a video on this, as I just said. That's what it looks like. But um, I'll give you more details in the video, but um, I think I might declutter this one. So that'll probably give you a clue on what I thought of it. So I don't think that'll be getting to my shelf. I had chosen this one here, the Tichi OMFG palette. And I did quite a few looks with this and I had a nice colour came up. I'm wearing that today, actually. I also used, and this is what I used at the beginning of the month, and it's all dirty now, is the Tasty Avocado I Heart Revolution palette. And I did a few looks with this and did a video on it as well. And, spoiler alert, really enjoyed using it. So. And I also did a video on making the I Look You A Lot palette, duping my own. And that was really fun. So I did quite a few lilac clocks during the month. It was harder than I thought, though, I have to say. And right at the beginning of the month, I also did um, duping the Vintage Rose palette. And this one I thoroughly enjoyed using. And I'll have a video coming out on the looks I did with that and what I chose. So it was nice to sort of mix it up by making my own stuff and using set palettes and things. Now, I was supposed to use, and it's not even in my pile of things I was going to use, the, um, I'll have to go get it. <laughs> so I was supposed to use the Festival palette this month, but I didn't get around to it. I popped two colours out, so you can see they're empty, and they ended up in my lilac palette. So was that one and that one. So in a way I did use it, I just only used two shades out of it and I didn't use anything else. So I still have to go with that one more before I can really say whether it's good or not. <laughs> I can tell you one of the lilac shades was good and the other shade that I picked was really good. So make it that what you will. <laughs> and I've got a basket here with various things that I used during the month. Sorry, that was really loud. So, let's have a look. I used my Pebble Pros Mascara. I'll put that back. I used lots of lipsticks. I only chose a couple. So, for lipsticks that I actually chose, I chose the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Dreamer, which I used a few times and enjoyed, especially with the Vintage Rose Power. 
and I chose um, the L'Oreal Color is Shine in Insta Heaven, which I used a few times and um, enjoyed that as well. In fact, I was wearing it yesterday. So I this one. <laughs> This one I've got in my project pan, so I use this. This is the Rimmel Cake 43, so I definitely use that during the week. I've got that underneath my lip gloss today. And then I chose some extra ones as I went along. So... So I ended up using all these lips. Ended up using all these lipsticks in a lip gloss and the and the classy cake lip gloss. So I used two lip glosses, which is oh, actually I used three lip glosses. That's one of them. That was in my project pan. I used these three lip glosses, and I'm wearing the L'Oreal one now. It's kind of hot in here. <laughs> and I used Light Candy Ultra Three lipstick. And the Ultra 3 Soft Toffee. So I had this in my Shop My Stash last week, but I ended up pulling it out because it's the only lipstick I have in this particular shade of orange. And it just goes with a particular shade of orange eyeshadow that I like. I pulled out the Butter Lipstick, the next one, and I used it a couple of times. I used the Revlon Color Stay ultimate suede in influencer which is just kind of a neutral dusty pink and oh, i must have used this one too this is another gloss actually this is um what is it called la colors um and snuggle this is a gloss still the neutral one i wore a lot of neutral lipsticks except for one which was this one <laughs> which was brand new to me I got it in a in the subscription box that I didn't want <laughs> that's another story and um, this was a dark kind of plummy color and I did it for a collab on using products that I hadn't used before so that's what I this is for lipsticks and now there is like stuff everywhere in front of me and for um for various eye things either single eyeshadows or liquid things or super shocks or, or whatever um the color pop super shock shadow in ring i used quite a lot as i was playing around with the lilac your lot palette so that was really successful i think i was really glad to have that this was kind of an impulse buy from last month so this was the essence melted chrome eyeshadow it's called think about you and I actually really like this. I ended up using this with the Essence palette to just give it a bit more oomph because look how pretty that is. It's really shiny. The molten metal is almost what it looks like too. So it's quite well named. And it's kind of a rosy gold colour. And I really like that. I was actually pleasantly surprised by that. I thought it was actually a lot prettier than I thought. Although I did buy it because I think it was pretty, but you know. Um, I think I used my glitter once, so I thought this glitter would go well with the lilac you a lot dupes that I was doing. And I did, I used it once. And I used my Milani Beaming Light as well, because I thought that would go well with that as well. That was really good English, wasn't it? Um, <laughs> and I used the BH Cosmetics Eye Lights in Psych, because I thought that would go well and I also used the one in chill pill because you know all these ones went well with the look I was doing I used um the TT what one is this I think they've got really simple names except I can't find it here it is mermaid it's called mermaid so it's just really pretty it's no good me swatching it because they're quite uh, they're quite um sheer, but you just get that hint of sparkle, and it's sort of got green and gold and blue glitters in it. And the other one 
as well. This one was really pretty with the lilac palette because it's kind of a clear base but it's just got kind of an iridescent purple glitter in it and so you, when you put it over some of those shadows and you turn your head you, you just get that little shift in it. It was really pretty, I really enjoyed it. And then I ended up using these two as well. So by not choosing what extra eye products I was going to use and just getting them out as I felt I wanted to add something to my look worked a lot better for me than trying to choose something for the month. And same with the lipsticks. Instead of choosing the lipsticks and then feeling like I can only use those ones, I was just using whatever I wanted and then adding them to my basket so that at the end of the month I could say, okay, this is what I used. And that worked better for me. So there may be some things that I pull in if I know I want a certain colour lipstick or a certain colour eyeshadow single or something. But um, for the most part, I think I'll just pull in stuff as I want it and then I can see what I've used during the month and what I don't use. That's the theory anyway. <laughs> so there is all my Shop My Step stuff from November. So now I need to find some stuff for December. So for palettes, I do have some ideas of what I want to use already because I've got some new products I want to try out. So one of the new products, of course, is my Colourpop palette, which is you, and it's got some greens and some reds, so that'll work for Christmas as well as lots of other colours to play with because I want to try out all the colours and see how I like them. And the other one I thought I might try out, which is new, is my Revolution Rainbow palette. And that's got some nice greens and red and things in it too. And another one I want to try out is the Revolution Cami palette. Now I got this one because I've heard a few people, look at the lovely packaging on there. I've heard a few people saying that these top shades, they're like um, toppers, but they're really, really pretty. And I wanted to have a play with them. So I thought I would... They're really unusual looking, it's the gold one. And my spell, that pale blue one, that's pretty. Actually my daughter might really like that colour because she's just brought a dress that colour, that's the green one. Because of you, they feel really soft. That's, so they are quite pale. you got this. It's one of those, oh well, that's an interesting colour. I was going to say that's one of those browns with a blue duo crack, but it's sort of going purple and blue. That's, that's an interesting colour. They're not really strong colours because they're supposed to act like toppers. So I wanted to have a play with that and see what I thought. So I'm going to play with that. And it's got some of the deeper colours there that would deepen up a Christmas look quite nicely. It's also got this shimmery green that might be good, which is called Integrity, down here. So I'm just going to stick with those three for now, although I am really tempted to go into this one I got because of Nikki Raven. She kept saying how good this one was. <laughs> so it's the iHeart Revolution Sweet and Tasty Popcorn Palette, although it looks nothing like popcorn because I have never seen blue and purple popcorn, but it is really pretty. It's not Christmassy at all, but... I might end up playing with that one as well, just because. I haven't got any plans for duping any palettes at this stage, unless something comes up that I really want to try out. <laughs> so, and so there are some things that I know I'm going to use. So those four palettes. What I am going to experiment with, though, is I got the Pretty Fresh range from Colourpop which if you've seen my colour pop video you would have seen so I'll put that up in the cards so you can see that or up in the cards I can't remember which side because I'm in a different room <laughs> so I'm going to play with the tinted moisturiser using it with different foundations mixing it on its own with different um, primers <laughs> and so far I like the setting spray, I think, but I, I could try this with a different setting spray and see if it lasts better. And I want to have a play with 
the concealer because I wasn't sure if I liked that the first time I used it so I want to have a play with all those so I'm gonna experiment with these over the next month and see what I want to do what works best which, which combination of things work best on my skin because everybody is different and I'd also got the Hulsen Carriage highlighter with its beautiful Disney packaging with the lovely Cinderella because I love Cinderella like this. So I want to play with <laughs> What else do I want to play with? Let's go and have a look. So I need some blush. Possibly choose a couple of lipsticks or something. Let's have a look. I'm going to go into my blush drawer here. And this is what I chose last time, so that's why they're on the top. So what do I want to use this time? I've got a very colourful mixture of things. So I might go into it this palette this time because a colourful mixture of things might be good. And I also think I might try this one. So I haven't used this one in a while. This is the Revolution one and this is Golden Sugar. And a lot of these are more like highlighters to me. So I'd like to have a play with these and see what I think. And the Chi Chi Immaculate Ombre Blush Collection, I do actually use quite regularly. But because it's got kind of peachy tones and pink tones and more kind of warm brown tones, I think it'll be good when you've got lots of colour to choose from. And I'm also going to put in my Laura Geller blush in, what's this one called again? Tropic Hues. That... Kelly Wesley gave me. So it looks like this. Because it's really pretty and I want to use it a bit more. So I don't need any more than that. That's that's enough blush. I've got I've got this I can use as some highlighters. I've also got that champagne one. So what else would I like to use? this one out. I feel like I feel like I need to start taking note of which ones I pull out regularly to make sure that I don't keep using the same things all the time. I'm going to pull out the Jewelry Light BH Cosmetics. I got this one from Kaylee Weasley as well. And that'll be enough What's in this drawer? Bronzer. I think I'm going to pull out my e.l.f. bronzer. Looks like this. It's got some pan in it. So I've been quite enjoying quite a light bronzer look at the moment. And this one is quite hard. Packed. I just swirl my brush around the whole thing. And it's a pretty light colour. So I'm going to focus. Nope, there you go. It's a pretty light colour. So I think I will pull that one in. Now, what better time than December? Than to pull out some extreme glitter super shots. So I'm going to bring the Party Talk palette out. So if I'm not going to use it in December, when will I use it? Now, I definitely want to bring one of these in. I want the red one. Hang on. I want to bring this one in, which is upside down strawberry jelly, because this is the really pink one. Sorry, I'm going to use my hand while I try and unscrew this. And I want to actually use it more because I really enjoy that colour. I feel like a 
of gold, something like this would be good for Christmas. Let's see what I got in here. This dark green one that I don't use very often, which looks like a Christmassy colour. Not that all Christmas colours have to be red on that. So I'll just get those couple out, and then if I want anything else out of here, I will get it later. Well, I have. I will probably end up getting this one out too later, but not just at the moment. Might even. Um, for Christmas end up using this which I got as a free gift which is a body glitter because as I said when else am I gonna use it? <laughs> That's gonna use glitter. Okay so I need a powder do I? No I don't oh yeah no I might choose a powder. I know that I want to use I want to use this glam beige L'Oreal in light healthy glow foundation with the pretty fresh ColourPop one so i'm definitely bringing that out to experiment with and i think i will bring i bring this one out i might bring hmm i don't know now this one out because I haven't played with this one for a while. So here is what I have got for Shop My Stash. Just ignore the painting stuff over there. <laughs> so I've got my Super Shop shadows. I've got my Rainbow palette. Lots of colour this time around. Quite um, neutrally blushy kind of looks here. So yeah, I'm going to have fun playing with all that and seeing what I think of those new palettes and um, just playing with my products. So thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye!